Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to show you the Park Assist Plus of the new software version 3.0 in the ID family. Um, a bit closer, I was in Wolfsburg a week ago and I could drive an ID3 with Park Assist Plus in software version 3.0 and I wanted to show you a bit uh, uh, how that worked. It was really nice. Um, for understanding, um, I'm, yesterday I made the video what 3.0 will include in the software, how it will work and when and everything. So watch that video, subscribe for more of course. And the day before I even talked about 2.4 which you need for 3.0 so very important watch those videos so you're up to date but what is Park Assist Plus? Very important for Park Assist Plus again you need of course software version 3.0 and you need the side sensors in the rear and in the front that the first ID3s for example like my car don't have. <laughs> I just have the front ones if I go into a parking space but we need the side ones for this to work. How does it work? Well if you are in the park menu and you drive 40 kilometers an hour for parallel parking or 20 under 20 kilometers an hour for bay parking the car in the park menu will show you that there is a parking spot where it could fit. You stop press that uh, um, a parking lot you can change the the location it can be this way it can be this way or the other way around press start you still have your foot on the brake then you take your foot off the brake and it will park itself um, by itself will do steering uh, acceleration and the gear change and everything and when it's done it will give you a message parking done and it will put uh, park uh, 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 gear on and that's so cool so um, let's watch the video because it's very cool so we in, are in this wonderful, beautiful red ID3 again, testing the Park, park, uh, park Assist Plus function. And let's drive to the parking that they uh, built, built there for us. And you have to be in the P menu to see. And you drive, it has to be under 40 kilometers an hour. Under 40, um, for these parking boxes, you have to drive under 20. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, and it tells me to uh, uh, press the brake for the parking to start, and then I can turn around if I want to be in a parking forward or in uh, reverse. Let's try. And now we'll just start, and, and the, the speed is with uh, how much I take my foot off the brake, right? Yeah, you have to put your foot off the brake and then we will maneuver you up to 4 kph. Oh, you wanted this one, right? <laughs> no, so it's up to the customer, right? Uh -huh. so, um, the function has seen the first car and you, uh, yeah, you have the choice to park in front or park between the cars. It's up to the customer. Tiny little hill. Oh, it will, it will not go for... Ah, oh, no, it's good. So and the function is trying to put you as close as possible to, uh -huh. to the other car, of course. And it's just to... Interesting. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see, that's the one there. It shows me, ah, oh, that's nice if you're not in that menu. The second one, and now this one. Oh! Yeah, so what you did is you choose your scenario. Uh -huh. You can toggle it to perpendicular or parallel. If you push again, then you, it would change again back ah. to parallel. Now it says you have to go further. Interesting. So you have the freedom to, to choose your uh, scenario. And now it's ready to park. Cool. Let's try it out. <laughs> uh. 
Right, now's the car. <laughs> Very well. Huh. Cool. Don't get. <laughs> and in such, before you start to drive again, in such parking places, it's uh, you can even help uh, get help uh, for the function to park you out again. Okay. So if you knew, uh, go to the parking menu again, you see there for parking out, just uh, indicate. So you give the scenario and just start. And now we will give you the, um, the angle to just go out of the parking <laughs> slot. <laughs> and and that's what, what, what he said, he's not gonna go out, it's just gonna right. go, so we, if, if I now accelerate, I will go out in a normal way. Exactly. But it's... So you have to, to, to grab the, the steer and then you can go out. Oh, cool. That's great. That was awesome. And the next function is Park Assist Plus with memory function. What is this? Um, every time when you're uh, driving below 40 kilometers an hour, it will record your last 50 meters of driving. So let's say you come home and you go into your driveway, drive with 30 kilometers an hour and then you park in reverse into your garage. When you go into the park menu, it will uh, there will pop up a little thing that says save parking maneuver. You can press that, give it a name, you can save up to five uh, parking scenarios and the next time you come into that area, even when you're not in a parking menu, it will pop up, hey, I recognize you parked here before, do you want to do your parking maneuver? You, s you have to stop, have your foot on the brake, say yes and start, get your foot off the brake and will park you in the same direction as you did before. Of course it will look if there's anything in the way or whatever and it will not drive as fast, it will drive I think five kilometers an hour or so, but it will take the same driving that you did. So that's very cool. Let's watch this video as well. Okay, now we're trying the memory function to save your parking at home or at work. Driving here. You do your normal parking like you would do. Put it in park, go to the park menu, and save a memory. <laughs> you just can <laughs> something or home or whatever, correct? So that you as a customer can recognize which mm. parking slot it is? It's up to five, five different ones. Correct. So if I go to the same spot, it will ask me if I want to park as I always park in, in this at home or at this spot. Correct, it will offer you the parking menu. Do I have to be in the park menu or is it outside no. here as well? So it's up to you but the, the best thing is that you are somewhere in the infotainment and then it just will pop up and say hey I recognize your parking slot and I, I huh. can start you. Okay, let's go back there, try that. <laughs> Ooh. I have to stop, then it tells me start, and I let the magic begin. Function recognizes the scenario again, mm -hmm. offers you the parking, and now it will yeah. just park as you trained it. Someone on the bike. What happens if, if I steer against, will it just stop? It will board and stop, correct. Oh. So that's one of the boarding 
checkpoints, let's say, or if you open one door or something, then it, makes sense. it just will oh. abort and stop the car. Does it go into park automatically? Yes. Cool. That's awesome. Cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. As you can see, a very cool feature. A lot of people have been asking for this for a long time. Sadly though, the old ID3s like mine won't be enjoying this feature at all <laughs> since we don't have those sensors. But still cool. Um, as always, if you want to uh, support me, you can choose here Patreon or be become a channel member here on YouTube. I appreciate it a lot. Um, but that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.